Aquas, welcome to the cave. Please introduce yourself. First off, before I introduce myself, shout out DBS Studios, shout out Sonia for doing this. Welcome to the K. Nobody's doing this in the city right now, so it's good to give people an outlet to talk about what they got going on besides in their music and through their content. But I'm Noah, I go by Manuel, 04 MNWL on Instagram, 04 Manuel. I'm a photographer, videographer, media production out of uh, Cambridge, born in Kitchener. But yeah. How did you get into the love of doing pictures and videos? So I've always been into videos, pictures, kind of, since I was small, my parents had have like an old 8mm VHS style camera, and I found it like last year, and they told me it was broken, and it had like a bunch of old tapes, so I kind of like gave up on it, but then I tried to find the right plugs for it or whatever, and then I plugged it in, it ended up working, went through all the old videos, and there's tons of videos of me like recording my parents or just doing some dumb shit, so that kind of got me back into it, so I actually still use that camera. The most recent video I have on my uh, Instagram, the little Mosey one, I, that was shot on that, and that's like a camera older than me. But yeah, that got me into kind of doing videos, um, photography, same thing. I used to steal people's cameras when I was a kid and just like run around and snap pictures of everything. So yeah, just kind of got into it since I was young. And then last year in like December, I tried to make the Instagram take a little bit more serious. Yeah, we're here. Wow, that's good. What's your favorite event that you shot for? The biggest event I shot for was probably Lil Mosey when I was out in London for London Music Hall. Shout out Il Dropos, they slid me into that. But yeah, working with Mosey was crazy. Huge crowd. Um, my favorite, there's been a bunch. Been like over 20 shows this year, so it's kind of hard to get oh, one. Lot. It's a lot of shows, I know. It's awesome though. Because I already like going to concerts and shit, so. Being able to go with a press pass or whatever is dope. But um, Lamozi, Pop, Presso was kind of sick. Houdini, Berna, those were fun. Um, let me see. Actually, if I can pull up any other ones, I actually like that. Uh, been a couple of listening parties. Um, Kevin Rowley had one at Lavelle. That was crazy. It wasn't really a show, but it's like a listening party. Lavelle's crazy. That was sick. Young Tori and them. But yeah. What inspires you to keep doing like what you love? So I think of it exactly like you said, something I love, more of a hobby than work. So a lot of photographers I feel like take it as a way to make income and shit, and it is, but at the same time, it has to be a hobby first, I feel like, cause then it's like more raw. So just being able to, uh, yeah, keep doing it for fun. Yeah. What was the question, sir? What inspires, what inspires me? You? Yeah, so just being able to go to shows and network with people, meet new people, build my portfolio, work with brands, that just keep, inspires me to keep going. Yeah. What makes what makes a, your picture stand out from the average? So I shoot strictly film, 35 millimeter film. It's a little bit different, it's like old style shit. It's like um, actual like tapes, it's not no digital, you can't take a thousand photos for one. So the fact that it's film and I only stick to film it makes me focus a lot more on each photo I take. So when people shoot like DSLRs, like the camera that it's being recorded on, you can take like 500 photos in a photo shoot or whatever, and at least one will turn out good, you know? Whereas me, each roll only has 36 photos. So out of that 36, if we only do a photo shoot with 10 photos, I gotta make sure each photo is, you know, on point. So that kind of makes me stand out, even though it's like a kind of side thing. But also the film aspect, not too many people strictly shoot film anymore. Only like the top, my, my like inspirations kind of do, but out of here, I couldn't even tell you one that only shoots film. Actually, I can't even think of anybody that just shoots film. But yeah, that makes me stand out a little bit. And the portrait aspect, I try to get like a good connection with the person before I take a photo, like introduce myself, let them know who I am, let them know that I'm actually gonna take a picture versus just pulling up, trying to snap a picture as an outlook like paparazzi style shit, which yeah. A bit different. Whose work has influenced you the most? Um, so Gunnar Stahl is probably my biggest influence. He just dropped a, like a photo book, super sick, called that. But yeah, he's a huge inspiration, works with the biggest artists out there. Um, Theo, he shoots black and white film for Drake, super sick. Uh, from No Jumper, there's um, Chris Long. Chris Long shoots film too, works with Juice World a lot. But yeah, those are my three like biggest inspirations for photography and then videos. It would be um, his name is Pink, uh, Pink Flamingo. 
he should, he's from Atlanta. He done a lot of the like early um, Lil Yachty shit. He did a bunch of his shows at the beginning. Worked with Amigos. He does a lot of car shit too. But the way he does videos is the VHS style. And it just like chops it up nice. So that's what I'm trying to mold my shit into. Anyone dead or alive, who would you work for? Um, anybody dead or alive? So outside of Canada? Yeah, outside of Canada. Outside of Canada? Like anyone, anybody in the world? Anyone in the world. Mm, obviously, everybody would love to work with Travis. Oh, actually, one more inspiration I forgot is Ray's Corrupted Mind. That guy's crazy. That guy's sick. And also, all my friends, too. All my friends that are shooters keep me motivated. But back to this question probably like Playboy Cardi. I'd love to work with Playboy. I'd love to work with um, Sheck West, Travis, Billy Eilish, Young Bands. All them would be dope to shoot for. But um, from Toronto, Come Down. Do you know Come Down? No, I don't. No, come down Fiji, Fiji and Castro. They go crazy. They don't get enough love in the city, but yeah, I'd love to work with them. I don't know why I haven't yet. I've had the opportunity a couple times, but definitely gonna get that in before the end of the year. Killy, Killy be dope. Murda, Murda's not even here that much, but Murda be dope. But yeah. How do you educate yourself to take better pictures? Just uh, constantly pumping out roles, constantly taking photos, watching YouTube videos, learning how to edit better videos, just trying to get more information, trying to learn as much as I can from YouTube, you know. A lot of people ask me if I took like photography in school or took like media production in school, but I never did anything like that. It kind of just like sprung last year, just kind of as a hobby, so yeah, just try to use YouTube and stuff like that to my advantage. Where do you see yourself in like five to ten years? Well, so, like I said, I just started this a year ago, so who even fucking knows, but um, hopefully just on tour with somebody, out in the States, out in Europe, just taking photos, videos, trying to do more vlog style shit, event recaps, all that, but yeah, hopefully I'm still doing it. 10 years is a long ass time, but yeah, I still have a full-time job and shit, so it's more of a hobby, but I want to make it the full-time, full-time thing. Where can people, um, find you? So, like I said before, my Instagram is... 04MNWL is at 04 Manuel. I also just made a new Instagram. It's actually at MNWLTV, Manuel TV. Gonna have some new shit popping out there. Similar things like this, interview style shit. Who knows? I might put all my like music video type shit over there too. So yeah, so you can find me. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on Welcome to the K today. No